Hey everyone, and welcome again to Optimizing RPG. Now today, we're going to take a look at a brand new hold. Well, I say brand new. Actually, it's the oldest user-made hold for this game, and it's called Paycheck, and it's all about doors, uh, which you might think to yourself, is it interesting to have a hold all about doors? Well, actually, I think it is. There's there's an awful lot of very clever tricks in this hold. It's actually very difficult, so I thought I would show it off. There's only one score point, so we'll be playing all the way through. So the gimmick of this hold is that you can pick up money, like so, and you get 100 times whatever floor you're on. So 100 on this floor, 200 on the next. Um, the cost of the doors will go up each floor as the multiplier goes up, and otherwise you're just using keys to get through to the end. Uh, now we have no choice here but to pick up these keys and I would say for this hold if you want to just beat it even with like the worst possible score there is basically one trick that you need to do to help you get to the end and that is to avoid spending your yellow key on this door by closing the grackle gate and then walking on top of it um, it's pretty easy because this level is so simple it's pretty easy to just zoom through it think you've done all right and then get stuck this hold actually has a reputation for being really difficult and I honestly think that that trick right there is what catches out a lot of people because you will just run out of resources later the yellow key really helps a lot as you will see uh, now we could spend 30 greckles to get this like so or what we could do um, funnily enough we can actually avoid um, needing the blue key at all if we keep going so if we um, open and close this door we can walk through it at the cost of two gates instead of three so this is a fairly standard um, technique with door walking in this game um, you will see in a lot of holds doors tend to come in sets of two like this that is because you can open and close to go one way past a set of doors at the cost of only two of them um, or if you want to go both ways um, then four as well because you can open close on one end and then open close on the other um, if you put more than four doors or if you're going one way more than two doors in a row the, the player can make savings as this demonstrates here uh, and finally this is how we can just avoid needing the blue key at all now unfortunately because this costs 30 to collect and we don't have that much we can't take this blue key with us but in the end by um doing it this way we actually get to save 10 greckles so we get to walk out of here with a yellow key and 20 greckles uh, we will never come back to this particular level and we should move on to the next one uh, now, this is very interesting here. There's a yellow key actually on the door. So that's the first yellow door that we want to open. Because um, if we opened and collected this now, we would be forced to go ahead and pick this one up to open this door. Um, we will also pick up this blue key because in order to progress, we would like to drop this red door. Um, but this blue key that we need to get out of here will become inaccessible if we do that. So now we are able to get the sword and drop the trapdoor. By doing that we've made our path through cheaper and also we can pick up this key for free. So coming into this level with the yellow key meant that we didn't have to spend picking up this key. It would have cost us to lock a door um, then lock another one, then come through and actually open again. So we saved three Greco doors or 60 Greco's by bringing a yellow key with us. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a huge saving. Uh, you might be asking about all of this stuff here. Um, clearly we can't get to this, there's briar in the way. Um, so we'll just have to come back later and of course we can't open this either. We have had no opportunity to do so, so we'll just move on. Now this floor is where things start to get pretty complicated and that is because of the introduction of the grappling hook. Um, we want that straight away, we do have a yellow key, so the grappling hook 
lets you jump over water and pits, as I'm sure you know. Um, by dropping this trapdoor, we have this is only one way if we go through here, and then we would have this red door up, and it would cost every time we want to cross through here. By dropping the trapdoor, and it's cheaper. Uh, we want the grappling hook anyway, so we can save opening these if we got it first. Now we have this area completely free to pass. We are going to want to come back for the sword that we had on the previous level. So by doing it this way, you know, this, this has allowed free passage both ways. Uh, now we are going to need a blue key to get out of here. There's actually two and a skeleton key, so there are three doors that we can use. Um, if we grab this one, which is the cheapest, it actually locks off the way to get to here. Um, we could spend our yellow key on this, however we actually want to keep this for a later floor, as you will see, um, which leaves us no choice other than to grab this one. Now the skeleton key can also open these grackle gates if we run out of money, however um, it scores exactly the same for the end game as a blue key, so we're just going to use it as though it were a blue key. And we're just going to door walk over here. We will have to spend when we come back. But because this has been closed by do doing this, uh, we have no choice but to... Um, yeah, we've got a... Con every time we walk past, we have to spend. But you know what? That's that's fine. We don't... We've got to come back through it, but only once. Uh, we have no choice at the start of this level. Uh, this level is all about grappling hook tricks. So when we push the platform here, we can avoid ever having to open this door. And by closing here and closing here. So that's where we had these three gates open. But we only actually had to spend two by door walking. So that's the trick. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I was just thinking, had we dropped this, you could have walked along here as well, but it's not really worth doing. It, it's, it's actually more expensive to do that. Um, we need another blue key to escape, um, and there is this one that is available to us. Um, this is a very sneaky trick that's available here. You can get this quite cheaply at only three gates spent at all. And that is because the grappling hook has a special ability where if you are on a closed door, you can actually grapple onto another closed door. So here we've managed to get that blue key. Uh, a lot cheaper using any other path. If we had to go this way, we would have had to do one, two, three, four, closing it, and then five, but that way we only spent three, so um, pretty sneaky, you've got to, it's it's not, I don't know how intuitive that is, but it is something that has been known about the grappling hook for a long time, if you, if you read the various threads on the forum, uh, you will find that trick, it is written down. Uh, that allows us to progress to the next level. Uh, we got another briar root here, and we've got the briar hacker. I will actually just go back and quickly mention there was this hand bomb in here for a green door. Um, what's that all about? Because there are no monsters. Well, you can use this to destroy briar. However, um, the briar hacker also destroys it. So this is this you would only use in an emergency to like try and get through here because you don't have enough money or keys left over to grab this. However, because we have saved a yellow key all this time, we can open this door to pick up these keys without having to go this way. Um, we are this, this level is quite expensive for money. We are actually going to run out of money if we try going the other way. So um, that lets us get to the Briar Hacker. The Observant will notice that there is a secret room here, but we're not going to go in there just yet. So you may remember all the way back on the second floor, there was a really big sword hiding behind a briar, so now that we've got this we can go back and pick it up. 
Um, for the scoreboards for this hold, they are basically split into um, two. It's the people that managed to escape with the really big sword and people that didn't. Um, if you were to walk out of here with only 20 attack, you get a really, really low score. Um, everyone who walks out with a really big score, comparatively, just gets this massive boost because it's 220 attack. You know, you get like a thousand extra points or something like that. So, yeah, so that that's just the way this is structured. So we are just going to walk back now. There's nothing left to do in this level. Uh, we could close this door and walk across, or we can just open two, it actually doesn't really matter. Um, our last yellow key can be spent picking this one up, and that means that we are now free to collect this one as well. Just while we're passing through. Uh, we can spend a green key on a hundred more Greckles, however... Um, the green key is worth points when we are scored at the end because it is still scored traditionally. Money is not worth anything and green keys are. So we'd really like to not spend this if we can. And there actually is a way to keep enough money to not have to pick this up. And that's what I'll be showing. <clears throat> so more money and there is the really big sword. Um, we do have to leave the briar hacker here. There is one more briar on the final level, but we're actually not going to be going that way because it costs a green key to go that way. So it's actually okay to leave it there. So now we've got our big scoring, really big sword. Uh, we have to lock a door here. We can go all the way back up to the final floor. Now, had we brought the Briar Hacker with us, you know, we have enough money and green keys and blue keys, we could just leave. However, there is a secret room over here. It'll be interesting to see what's in here. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this secret room is kind of crazy. Um, again, there's nothing else really like it, and I think this puzzle is very, very different to the rest of the hold. Um, it's quite an unusual puzzle, um, and you know, making your way through here to here, uh, you've got to cross a lot of beams, and because beams halve your health, this dwindles very rapidly. Now, you might try this for a while, like a lot of people do, and find that actually they can't really get out, or they might be able to get into here, but they can't get back again. Um, and the reason for that, it's a bit sneaky, but there's actually another secret wall over here, and that's actually our goal. So we want to get through here, taking as few hits as possible. The RBS does actually block um, one beam, so we can block this guy if we come in here and point to the east. So see, he, we're not getting hit. If I was to turn, that guy would get hit. Um, the solution here, you know, I'll just show you it, really. I mean, it's, it, it was a lot of playing around to get this solution, honestly. Um, so, what was it? There is, uh, there's actually two. This diagonal beam is actually two um, umlick, so it's actually safer to step around. Um, and I think... Yes, I have to still take two hits here. There's really nothing I can do about it. I can't turn my sword in a way that blocks from either of these or step anywhere. Um, and that's how we reach over here um, and get here. With that's, I believe that's actually the minimum number of hits we can take, so you can just barely do it. Uh, weird little puzzle room here. And what do we get for it? We get a load of health. So this is how we manage to get through this room by basically picking up more health. Um, but something you've got to remember, of course, is that because health is halved, um, if you were to pick up all of this, you would take one hit and then you would be back down to the amount of health you'd had had you only picked up half of it. So you actually don't want to pick this all up. You want to pick up a certain amount of it 
and then come back um, in here when you try to leave to take advantage of the rest. Otherwise, you just get all of your health diminished by the beams. So you sort of, the general rule that we learnt in um, the Trial Tower videos is that when you take percentage damage, you want to keep your health as low as possible. Uh, but we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to actually just collect the two big potions and we're going to leave the small ones. And if we were going to just collect half of it, obviously I'd take a big and a small one. So why have we taken 500 health? So something you can do, and this is how we eventually bring a green key with us. Um, these Umplik deal 440 damage and they give us 100 Greckles. If we collect 500 health, we can stab one and basically get the money we would have gotten from that green door all the way back on the second floor. And we have gotten rid of a guy whose beam was actually really in the way and quite annoying. Um, by taking this guy out, it's now a lot easier to get into here. And we only need to get hit twice doing it. So um, that's why we've gone for the two big potions. So we can actually get in here and back out again on only this health. We only need 32 to if we're getting hit four times. Uh, so there's one of the hits. And if we just keep our sword this way, Here's the next one. So there you go, just two hits to make it to this room. So this room here is a bunch more money and that's what's going to allow us to leave. And also again, some more admittedly totally pointless stats. They're just a way of um, score for the leaderboard. Um, so there we go, we're just going to go back exactly the way we came in. And now we're going to pick up the rest of the health Oops, no, it's this way. And we're going to use this to leave. Now, because of the way that taking 50% damage from an unplayed beam um, just absolutely kills your health when you get hit by it multiple times, there's really no way to get out of here with at least 40 health. So, um, yeah, so there's, there's, not, there's not really any better way to do this. Um, if we go back in exactly the same path that we originally took, um, we do get to leave with 2 HP. We could take one more hit, but you know what? It, it doesn't really matter in the end. And so that is how we manage to leave this place. There's one final sneaky grapple here. If we open that door, um, you can't skip this door by trying to do this because there's no way to grapple out of there. Um, and the money that we got from the secret room has let us go this way. Uh, we don't have to spend either of our green keys and we've managed to leave with two green keys spare and the RBS and the bonus stats from here. And that gives us our maximum score for the here of 1300 so that's how you achieve the top score um unfortunately you know had we hit a hundred greckles i believe we might actually be able to skip needing to open this door um possibly maybe not um but I know that um, I'm sure I'd worked it out previously that had I been able to save another 10 Greckles, there might be a way to maintain a yellow key somewhere. But unfortunately, I'm not aware of any way to do it. I, I've not been able to figure out any way to actually improve on this. Um, it does look like a bit of a waste with all this money left over of 90. But, you know, that's that's just because we're efficient. So there is actually a bit of flexibility here. You know, you could have opened, for example, two extra doors on the previous floor and actually got out of here okay um, in the end. Uh, the killing the unplicked trick, you know, that's this is you normally need to open the green door because you are 10 Greckle short. Um, but of course, killing the unplicked gives you the 100. Uh, so that was it. That was paycheck. So, yeah, a bunch of very sneaky door tricks that hold but uh, I hope you found this interesting anyway you don't tend to see these sorts of tricks in that many holds that you need like particularly 
grappling from a closed door to another. You know, there, there's there's really nothing like it out there except my uh, most recent contest entry. I guess you can do that, but I I believe that's about it as far as my memory goes. So not really useful tricks necessarily for other holds, but. You know, the general, the knowing a bit about door walking is actually, it can be handy. It's definitely good to know about if you want to make your own stuff as well. And of course, if you're optimizing and someone doesn't know about it, that's a good way of um, getting a couple more score out usually. So, right, well, thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>